Hi, I'm Melinda at the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Library. Welcome to today's art venture. We're going to be talking about two different artists who lived in different time periods and in different countries, but who both used cut paper as part of their artwork. Henri Matisse and Howardina Pindell. Howardina Pindell was born in Philadelphia in 1943. When she was only in the third grade, her teacher noticed that she had artistic ability. So she talked to Pindell's parents and she encouraged them to take Pindell to art museums and art studios to help her develop this talent. They did this and they also enrolled her in art classes. So Pindell started studying art at a very early age. She continued to study art in college. Later, she got a job at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. She started as an assistant and later became an associate curator the first black woman curator at the museum. Part of a curator's job is to help decide which artworks are displayed. At night, after work, Pindell would work on her own art. She didn't make a lot of money, so she experimented with inexpensive materials. She would take things like trash from frame shops and leftover thread from her sewing. And she also used glitter and talcum powder and perfume and the little paper circles that are left over in hole punchers. Pindell used these circles over and over again in her artwork. Matisse also worked with cut paper. Circles were an important symbol to Howardina Pindell. They are connected to a memory from her childhood that was very vivid. When she was just eight years old, she and her father went to a root beer stand and she noticed that there were red circles on the bottom of the mugs. Pindell asked her parent, she asked her father what these circles were for, and he explained that the circles indicated which mugs it was permitted for black people to drink from. At that time, black people and white people couldn't drink out of the same cups. So circles were part of a very scary memory for Pindell. And when she grew up, she took the circle and she transformed it through her artwork into something beautiful. So she took something that was a scary and disturbing symbol and she transformed it through her artwork into something she thought brought beauty to the world. When Pindell was in her 30s, she was in a car accident that dented her head and gave her problems with her memory. She wanted to show in her art how she felt about her memories having missing pieces. So what she did was she took travel postcards that she'd collected over the years and she cut up these travel postcards and she used them in her artwork to show how she felt about her memory having missing pieces. She realized she could have died in the accident without showing how she felt about the world, especially the way the world didn't treat all people as equals. She was inspired to do more personal art, art that expressed the way that she felt. She created many works of art that showed things she thought were unfair. If you'd like trying to do some artwork in the style of Howardina Pindell, you could start by taking a piece of paper and coloring it with crayons or markers or paint, and then cutting out circles, lots of circles, using a hole punch, or you could use scissors. And then once you have a lot of circles, take another piece of paper and arrange them however you like, and you can layer them on top of each other um, to give kind of a 3D effect. And you can also add some glitter or string the way that Pindell did in some of her work. Or you could really try any different elements like cotton or bits of sponge, really anything. Um, just make sure you have permission before you, before you use anything. And now, um, Amanda is going to talk to you about Henri Matisse. Hi everyone, I'm Amanda from the Canopolis Library and today we are going to talk a little bit about Henri Matisse, who was born in France in 1869 and died in 1954. He was sometimes called the King of Fauves. What does that mean? What is Fauvism? And I'm going to tell you now. Fauvism came after Impressionism, 
And we've already talked about the Impressionists, so you know about that already. You're already smart about that. But Fauvism, this is a strange word. It is French, and it means wild beasts. Oh my goodness. So suppose you wanted to paint your face with all sorts of big, bold colors. <gasps> what would your grown-up people say to that? Or suppose you painted a picture of a friend, like this one here. What would your friend say if you had painted a picture of them with a green stripe going down their nose? <laughs> I'm not sure they would like that. What would they think? Henri Matisse liked to use big, bold colors to express himself. They made him feel happy and good. And I like using big, bold colors. Some of my favorites are some of the favorites that Henri Matisse used. How about this color? To Henri Matisse, it meant truth or heaven. This one here. What do you think this color means? If you said love, nope, that's not what it meant to Matisse. For him, it meant excitement or fire. He used this one to mean love or gentleness. And this color, he used to mean growth and change. These were some of his favorite colors, and you'll see them over and over again in his artwork. Now, to the Fauvis. Fauve meant excitement, trying new things, using bold, colorful lines, like in these works. But to art critics of the time, oh, the horror? What was this? This was something new. This was something unknown. These paintings, no, 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 no. We, we do not like this. This is not how art should be. We have never seen anything like this painted by an artist. This, this, this cannot be. This is not painted by an artist. It must be painted by oh, wild beasts. And so they called the style of art Fauvism for the French word for wild beasts. Now, I think maybe Matisse kind of liked that. I think maybe he laughed at that because he had a sense of humor, which I'm glad to know. I'm glad to think that people can laugh about things, even nowadays when things are tough. I like to think that maybe he would have laughed. Fauvism, to be called a wild beast. Sometimes I think grown-ups forget that things can be silly and funny. And when people get all wild and excited about things and have an imagination and paint things like they see from their imagination and want to share their excitement, oh, it makes me excited and happy. So this is a picture called Portrait with a Green Stripe. And it is of Matisse's wife, Amelie. He painted it and he shows contrasting colors, opposite colors on the color wheel. Sometimes they're happy feeling colors and sometimes they're sad feeling colors. And he uses them on opposite sides of her face. Matisse kept using bright colors all throughout his life and not just in his paintings. Later on in his life, he became very ill when he was an old man. And for a time, he wasn't able to paint anymore. He wasn't able to stand at his easel. He wasn't able to do the style of art that he had been used to. He had to learn a new way of doing art. And so he used a style of art with stencils. The French called this pochoir, and you can see it in his book of jazz. It is all filled with stencils, and he based this on jazz music because he loved jazz music. He loved how it flowed freely. He loved how it used the imagination. He loved how it tried new things. He loved how excited it was and how it got all the senses involved. And he wanted to show that. And this is the painting Icarus that you can find in that book. And this came out in the end of the 1940s. Look at all the different colors. Yep, there's the color blue again. And there's the color red again. And look how it tries new things. He created this using stencils. He cut out pieces of paper and painted them. Well, he had his assistants to help him now. He had people help him cut out pieces of paper 
and help him paint the pieces of paper. And later on, he tried even bigger and bolder things. He would have huge, ginormous pieces of paper. Some of them were bigger than they were. And he used his imagination to cut out all of his favorite shapes, shapes that he remembered from his time visiting the sea. And by this time in his life, he had moved to the south of France where it was warmer and sunnier and better for him and helped him get his, some of his health back. And as you can see in this painting here, or shape cutting painting here, it reminds us of the ocean. During this time in his life, he was still using his favorite colors, the reds, the greens, the oranges, and the blues. And you can look and see in many of his paintings, on paper that is, some things from the ocean, things you can find underwater. If you look through these paintings, you'll see shapes that will remind you of underwater plants and fish. Is there something in this painting that reminds you of something from underwater? What do you see? When I look at it, it reminds me of coral or maybe seaweed. Matisse never stopped working and making art. All throughout his life, he tried new things. He used his imagination, and he didn't give up when people said, No, that is not art. What are you doing? That cannot be. Those colors are too bold. Those lines, too bright. This is not how people put art together. He tried new things. And if you would like to try art in the style of Matisse, you can try using scrap paper. Cut it out into different shapes. Think about the shapes that you like. Think about things that make you excited and use your imagination. Matisse liked the sea and things found in the sea and he cut out in free-flowing curvy shapes and lines. You can paint the paper like Matisse had people help him do or you can just cut it out in your own way. Or you can paint paintings like the Fovis did. Wild beasts. Use scrap paper, okay? Cut them out or paint them in bold lines and bright colors. Remember, Matisse was using his imagination and his heart. He didn't paint what he saw, but rather what his imagination saw. The people and the things in the pictures weren't painted how they exactly looked, but rather what his imagination showed and how he felt. And if you want to check out more about Matisse's life, there's a really great book. This is what it looks like. And it's called Henri's Scissors by Jeanette Winter. It'll tell you a little bit more about Matisse's life and how he created some of his paper paintings at the end. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you had fun learning about Matisse and his artwork, the Fauvism and the Pochois, the stencil paintings. Thanks. Have a great day. See you next time for more Art Venture. Bye.